And if you keep your body clean, if you have support system of good homeopathic medicine that's clean and herbal and from our earth that supports us, you know, nature supports our bodies. Good food supports our bodies to keep it clean so that it can deal with things. There's so many ways, but ultimately it's us and it's our reaction, our perception. There's nothing wrong with getting help. I use some homeopathy now because I've gone through some hard times where no matter how much I'm aware that I am producing the reaction to all my sensitivity, it's overwhelming sometimes. You need help sometimes. And you know, whether it's through body work, massage, um, Reiki, any healing, it's beautiful and wonderful. And especially because, and I think what makes all of these work is that compassion, non-judgment, and awareness of the other person that is helping you. So definitely use people as well as your support system. People who will lift you, people who will hold your belief for you until you can hold it yourself. Again, um, support is wonderful, especially non-commiserating one, non-supporting your story about yourself. People who really just see that you are the cause and creator of your own suffering and helping you see through that just by being that awareness for you, sitting there with you. To me, that attention and awareness any kind of practitioner gives is just unconditional love. And through that unconditional love, there is nothing to resist. There's nowhere for our resistance to bounce back off, of, off from. And therefore, we're left with ourselves. And then we can heal, because we no longer project it outwards. So this energy and protection, I guess do what works for you, but be aware that it is all you. You are the one feeling it. There's nothing out there. You're safe. You're always safe. It's your perceptions that are coming up to be let go of and released so that you know that you're safe. We're always safe. In every moment, we're safe. We might be faced with some troubles, we might be faced with some abusive situations, but they're temporary. And it's afterwards is how we hold these, and how, what we believe about ourselves after they happen. But in the moment, every moment, most moments, you are safe. Always. There's nothing out there to get you. There's nothing out there to protect yourself from, except for yourself. And if you need help, protect yourself from yourself, then go get it. But ultimately, no, it's you. Um, this has been my experience anyway, and it's just what is ringing true for me. You know, I've, I've met and talked with so many healing modality people about this, or I haven't really talked, but I've just listened, and it just doesn't sit right with me that there's something out there to get me, or some energy's hitting the earth and there's a spinning that's going faster and faster. Yeah, there's a spinning because we are becoming more and more aware and there's more and more people out there who are really in that place of figuring out that we are in a physical dual world but ultimately it's our perceptions that make it good or bad. It's just us and there's a lot of self-forgiveness to be had. And those of us who are able to forgive ourselves and move on, let go of the past, not worry about the future, no matter what, because yes, there are climate changes, yes, there's different events happening, and also, it's just that we're more aware of them. I think these ha events have always been happening, it's just we haven't had the access to all the information. And information can be very overwhelming. And so more and more people are picking up on this, and. And that, that's where the spin and the faster and everything's going. And also people are becoming more aware of the flow of life. Um, how the more we go with the flow, the faster life goes. And more changes happen, or more changes we allow to happen, because change is inevitable. So anyway, I just wanted to talk, and I went on and on, but I just think about this, the whole energy thing, and energetics, and... What are you projecting outside of yourself to make yourself feel better? And that's okay too, we all do it. 
But how far are you willing to, you know, be aware and and explore the fact that everything you feel to be outside of you, touching inside of you, any reactions, is just you reacting, not necessarily to what's happening, but based on your whole filter of your whole perception of the whole world. And you can let these things go. These are all beliefs, and you can let them go. Step by step, as they come, meet, meet yourself where you're at. But know that belief is a big key about it, and at some point, all that projecting out that it's energy hitting us, that's going to be questioned too. That's what I'm questioning here. And I think that will dissolve as we get closer and closer to that truth, that it's really us. Energy you feel outside is really you. There's no outside. There's nothing hitting you unless you perceive it to be hitting you. I mean, I sat and sitting in the car with, with this dramatic storm that's just passed so I can finally go inside.